Hey guys, Dan Carr here. Today we're going to be taking a look at Really Right Stuff's PG02 gimbal head. So this is the kind of head that you would have on a tripod if you were shooting with uh, maybe a 300, but more likely a 400, 5, 600, maybe an 800. And if you're tracking a subject, maybe an animal, maybe aircraft in flight or something like that, then this is the type of head that you're going to want to use. So um, as you guys maybe already know from reading my blog and watching various videos, I'm a pretty big fan of really right stuff. Uh, I have some tripods and I have various heads of theirs, so uh, when I needed a gimbal head it only made sense to grab one of theirs so I can integrate it uh, into the equipment that I already own. So let's just run through uh, this. Their gimbal head is available in two versions, really this is the side mount version and they have another version which is the same bit here but it has a cradle that comes down as well, so um, you can actually cut the lens from the bottom here. Uh, personally, I don't mind having a side mount and I like the weight saving and the bulk saving, so um, this is going to work out just fine for me. I decided to get the 80mm clamp on here so that you've got a little bit more fore and aft movement when you're trying to balance the lens out. And basically, the gimbal head itself is uh, made up of two parts. We have the, the 02 uh, HB, which is the horizontal base, and uh, the 02 VA, which is the vertical arm. So um, it all comes apart, this bit just slides right off, and you can actually, for storage, turn this around, clamp this on there, and then if I pop this off the tripod, you can see that's a pretty neat little package, and that's, that's easy enough to stow away in your bag if you're traveling with it. So um, you'll see, actually, I've also got the Series 2 leveling base on my uh, TVC24L tripod here. So um, I'll show you this while I've got the head off. Uh, basically with this, we got a 15 degree movement in all directions by just rotating this collar a little bit. So uh, you can level it out really easily when you set your tripod up. And that means that when you clamp the head on and you're panning with the uh, with the gimbal that you can be sure that this is flat when it's panning right away. So um, it's actually uh, almost a necessity I would say if you're using a gimbal head is to have some sort of leveling base otherwise you're going to be fiddling with the legs uh, for a really long time. So um, let's pop this back off, slide this on like that and then you just clamp it up with this knob. Uh, the other knob on the end here obviously this locks in the, uh, the circular rotation right there. And um, yeah, it's really easy to use. I mean, you slide this in and out so you can line up the, the body and the lens. Um, we've got this nice big knob on here which locks the lens in place. In fact, let me just go ahead and grab a lens real quick. Um, right here I just have a 300 2.8, um, but obviously everything works the same with, with bigger lenses. So um, we'll spin this around and they, you loosen this and then you've got your uh, vertical tilt like that and obviously as I said you can move this in and out to line this up with the center there so um, yeah I mean as ev with everything from really right stuff it's incredibly well finished um, it just fits together uh, perfectly and it really complements all the rest of their equipment their tripods and leveling bases and things like that so um, yeah I've been really really impressed with it and uh, look forward to getting it out in the field soon